What? What do you want? Careful, it's too dangerous.
scene is secure and most of the injured are receiving treatment. Unfortunately, the cause of the incident is not yet known, so the press conference will have to be postponed. How's Dr. Clive? I reckon that this could be connected to that artificial Christomax he extracted. He's got a few scratches, nothing serious. He's been taking to headquarters to be patched up. Larson wants us to go there and ascertain the cause of all this. Let's go then. Dr. Clive, I need a straight answer. Can you guarantee that the artificial Christomax is safe now? Archon, during the incident, the Christomax displayed a field ability hitherto unseen in all of our experiments. We need to conduct more comprehensive tests on the sample, and until we do, I am unable to guarantee that it's safe. Dr. Clive, do you have any idea about what could have caused this? That creature in the hall was actually an artificial Christomax parasite and a singer-type droid. It even displayed sentience, which is something a normal Christomax from a gray space entity could never have. What's more, after successfully taking control of its host, that Christomax displayed a field ability we had not seen before. It was totally beyond anything we could have imagined. We incorporated tissue samples from three known abyssins in cultivating this Christomax, but none of them had this ability to pass through solid walls, so this Christomax seems to have evolved new field abilities during its development. This trait is something we've never seen or even considered before, I admit. Perhaps I was too optimistic and let myself get a little careless. I will take full responsibility for this incident. Moreover, reports from the scene indicate that the out-of-control Abyssin displayed some abnormal behavior before it was defeated. Our information suggests that it seems to possess human-like intelligence, acts with purpose, and even makes human-sounding noises. Lynn, you were the closest to that thing. Do you think it possessed a level of intelligence similar to our own? I'm sorry, Archon. Nothing really jumped out at me. While its behavior was certainly out of the ordinary, I don't think it really has the ability to communicate with us. After all, it's not a real gray space entity, just an artificial Christomax, a parasite on a mechanical host. Perhaps it was unconsciously imitating our behavior, and merely mimicking human noises. Gray space entities are communicating with humans. In all of my research, I've never even heard of such a thing. I think I have a good grasp of what transpired now. Our forensics team is analyzing the scene as we speak, and might be able to find something of value. Dr. Clive, I've ordered the artificial Christomax to be transferred to the secure lab at headquarters. You may conduct subsequent safety tests there. I shall be keenly awaiting the results. I believe that covers everything for today. Dismissed. Was there anything else? Actually, Lin, that abyssant. At the time, I felt like it was trying to communicate with us, too. It also wasn't displaying a clear intention to attack. Before Dr. Clive fired the first shot, at least. Hmm. So you also think it was trying to talk to us? Miss Lin, it might be a good idea to suggest Archon Larson and Dr. Clive pay more attention to this idea. Hmm. I'll certainly bear your suggestions in mind. Thank you.
Captain Saki Thua? Executor, Shirley, I have something important to discuss with you. Do you have time? We're on standby. Then, I'll be waiting for you at the Security Special Forces rooftop. Please come see me as soon as you can. It sounds serious from Saki's tone. Could it have something to do with the last Gray Space Entity assault? We better go see her then. I'm sorry to call you all here on such short notice. I feel there's something you need to know about Lynn. Miss Lynn, did something happen to her? Do you remember the sound that the Christomax parasitized puppet singer made when it attacked? Our technicians have analyzed and processed the sound. We've translated what we've got into human speech. for Ruby, then Lynn must have hidden something from us, both about the monster and Ruby. But why would Ruby have anything to do with it? Ruby's identity has always been mysterious. She suddenly appeared beside Lynn about two years ago. Lynn only said Ruby was entrusted to her by a friend, but she has never said anything about who that friend was. What's more, we couldn't find anything on Ruby. It seems like Lynn is intentionally trying to keep Ruby's identity a secret. After the attack, the reason that she denies that she conversed with the monster is she doesn't want us to know about Ruby's involvement in all this. Why did Miss Lynn... do that? <sighs> As per regulation, I've submitted everything I've found to Larson. He will soon be holding an inquisition at Cloudtop regarding Lynn. But... before that... I want to see if you two have anything to say. You were there. Did I miss anything that went down between Lynn and the monster? Before Dr. Clive suddenly came in and opened fire, the enemy wasn't hostile. It was trying to communicate with Lynn. But if Miss Lynn wanted to hide this from us, she could have sent Shirley and me away and taken care of it herself. I believe in Miss Lynn. She has always acted in the best interest of the people here. There must be something more to this than we know. I also trust that Lynn would never betray Mororia, but her actions are, indeed, suspicious. We have to tread carefully for the safety of the city. Archon Larson wants both of you to be there at Lynn's Inquisition. We can only hope Lynn can explain all this, but I wonder how deep this rabbit hole goes.
Jocelyn, let's go in. Don't forget what I told you before you slept. I remember. Then wait here for me. I'll be right out. Uh-huh. Let's go then. Looks like we have two new faces in our midst. Oh, let me introduce you. These two are Executor and Shirley from District 9. This is... Hello, I'm Tian Long. Hey, Lyra, why don't you come and say hi? Greetings, I'm Lyra. Tian Long is District 7's High Executor and is dispatched on a mission. Ms. Lyra is the current president of the Maidelin Foundation, as well as Archon Larson's special consultant. I'm sorry that my work required me elsewhere. No, everything happened because of me. Sorry for taking up all your time. Now that we're all here, let's get started. Archon Larson. I believe everyone here already knows about what happened a few days ago at the Listener Conference. Despite how the puppet singer was destroyed, and the artificial Christomax was relocated, it has a significant effect on things. Many have started questioning whether or not Miroria's defense systems are able to withstand gray space entity attacks. These concerns are understandable since gray space entity attacks have never happened inside Miroria. If we cannot guarantee our denizens' safety, it stands to reason that we will lose their trust. Captain Saki Fuwa has doubled the patrols in Mororia, and Lyra will be assisting in upgrading the city's current surveillance systems. However, these are but contingencies and responses to an emergency incident. We need to prevent similar situations from taking place in the future. Lin, Captain Saki Fuwa should have already relayed the results of the investigation to you. Would you please explain why you concealed the fact that the puppet singer could communicate with you? And what exactly did it say to you? Now that the Security Special Forces reports are out, there's nothing more I could say other than, I'm sorry, Arkham Larson. I concealed it not because I have an agenda or harbor ill will. There are just some things that I feel are not ready for the public eye. Forgive me for being frank, Miss Lin. This thing has profound influences. If we can't work together and solve this crisis together, I'm afraid... Archon Larson, please let me handle the follow-up to this incident. I promise I'll present a satisfactory answer to everyone. I'll just need some extra time. Lin, I've trusted you, and I'm willing to believe that there is a reason for your actions. However, I cannot allow you to put the whole city in danger. Archon Larson is responsible for the safety of the entire city. Please understand that, Lin. It spoke Ruby's name. 
That's the kid who hangs around you. The security special forces have completed their investigation into Ruby's identity and past and found no activities beyond the last two years. Lynn, who is this kid? Arkan Larson, I vouch for Ruby that she's always been a good kid. I'll educate her well and be held responsible for all her actions. I don't need you to take responsibility. I only want to know what the relationship between that kid and the artificial Krista Max parasitized monster is. I... Security alert. All non-combatants, please proceed to the nearest safe zone. Ruby... Arkan Larson, please give the order to lock down all exits immediately. You have your orders, Captain Sakifua. Don't worry about me. Captain, that artificial Christomax suddenly went out of control. We're sending machine guards to suppress it. That artificial Christomax again. What's going on with it? Artificial Christomax is completely shattered. What happened here? The machine guards couldn't stop it. We have to find Ruby. The wreckage went through the room ahead. Captain Saki Fua. Archon Larson. Take Ruby to the infirmary and keep her safe. Uh, yes, sir. Lynn, I need an explanation from you. <sighs> the artificial Christomax has caused many security incidents. I hope now you can see how this thing doesn't just affect you and Ruby, but all of us. Archon Larson, I will give you all the information I have, but... I have a request. You can give me your demands, but I can't promise anything. I need you to give me your word that you'll assure Ruby's safety after hearing what I have to say. Ruby... is not really a human. She's the result of an experiment trying to fuse humans and grace-based entities. What? Ruby? She's... An artificial grace-based entity. Just like what Dr. Clive did. To a certain extent, yes. Ruby and the artificial grace-based entity in the listener testing ground are the same. That artificial Christomax may be attracted to Ruby. Do you remember who Rubilia is, Archon Larson? Dr. Rubilia, the first supervisor of Project Listener. That kid is a true genius. If it weren't for the accident, she could have achieved much and given much to Muoria. An accident? Two years ago, in a routine collection mission on the surface, Rubilia went missing in a Grayspace Entity attack. Her project was then handed off to Dr. Clive, who used to be her assistant. Wait, 
What happened to Dr. Rubilia took place two years ago. And that's also when Ruby appeared in Meroria. Ruby? Rubilia? Rubilia used her own genetic code to fuse with the Grace Base entity in the experiment. That's how Ruby was formed. Using human DNA with that of the Grace Base entity is directly forbidden by Archon Harunobu. What Dr. Rubilia did was madness. Since her father died, Rubilia's been running those forbidden experiments in her secret lab. I only learned of it when I found her journal by accident. I put a stop to her experiments and sealed off the lab. Out of many concerns, I didn't make it public. Instead, I exiled Rubilia out of Mororia. You mean she didn't go missing because of the Grey Space Entity attack, but it was by your orders? Yes. I... I only wanted this thing to go away at the time. Rubilia's experiments were too extreme. I didn't know what would happen if they went public, so... I leveraged my position to conceal it all. If Rubilia really did create a superior abyssant with human intelligence and in human form, but outside of human control, it would be a great disaster for all mankind. Lin, how many like Ruby are out there? Are there any in this city that remain undiscovered? Archon Larson, Ruby is the only test subject left alive. She possesses a human mind. I can assure you that she'll not lose control and become a monster and threaten the safety of everyone. Even if you can prove that Ruby doesn't pose a threat, there's been no change in her situation after she absorbed that artificial Christomax. We cannot be certain if she'll be affected or controlled by the Christomax. Lynn, Executor, and Shirley, please stay here. I'll decide the next course of action after they run a full checkup on Ruby. Larson. I only wish for Ruby to be treated as a human, not a monster locked up in a cage and studied in a lab. I have my own thoughts on this, but I can assure you that Ruby will be safe. Captain Saki Fuwa, with me. Yes. still in a coma. We did a full examination on her, but due to her unique physical conditions, we cannot assess her status using normal human standards. Dr. Clive is assessing Ruby's situation, but he informed us that it might be difficult to do so with our current technology, since she's the first human hybrid. Lynn, there must be some research data left behind in Rubilia's lab, right? Yes. Even though I sealed off the lab, I did not destroy the research data. I planned on revealing the whole thing once Project Listener made some progress. We're facing a problem, and the redacted data may hold the key to solving it. We cannot wait any longer. Only you know the location of the lab, Lin. I will need you to take a team and retrieve the research data. Yes, sir. I'll send someone to go with you. The safety of Mororia hangs in the balance, and we cannot afford another accident. Archon Larson has told me all about it. Miss Lin, it seems like you've kept quite a number of things from us. Tian Long? Miss Lyra? Lin, long time no see. Miss Lyra will remain in Mororia to assist us with this investigation. Tian Long will go with you to the restricted experiment zone. Lin, do not disappoint us again. <laughs> Oh, you got Archon Larson so mad? If you have time to chit-chat, why don't you contribute to planning our next move? Huh. Looks 
Looks like we're the ones tasked with the special op. Captain Lin, what dangerous mission will we be going on this time? Why so serious? We're just investigating an abandoned lab, aren't we? Huh? Archon Larson recalled me for an emergency situation. And it turned out to be such a simple mission? Your mission is not just to assist with the investigation, but to keep an eye on me. I am now in your charge. Miss Lin, that's not a nice thing to say. I'm only here to help you complete the mission. That's all. Miss Lin, what do we have to know about that lab? There are no security systems installed in the lab, but it holds a great number of Grey Space entity samples. The samples should either be in stasis or deceased, but. We really don't have enough information. Stay vigilant. I have relayed the lab coordinates to you. Make sure you've received them. If there are no further questions, let's head out.
This is the entrance to the lab. Well, this is a secluded place. I'm impressed that Rubilia could find it. Before Rubilia repurposed it into her lab, it used to be an abandoned factory. I'll take you straight to the testing labs. Stay close, and don't wander off. 